Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today we're going to review an issue that people are having across Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro and probably some other phones as well. Who knows? But this is the 6 Pro. I've had it for since it was released. Now there's been a lot of issues and glitches and whatnot with the Google 6 and 6 Pro. Uh, the one that's been the main one of concern for me that you have to like investigate yourself and figure out what in the world is the problem is the fact that I do a lot of video, photo stuff. Uh, I take this little reader here usually, put an SD card in, slap it in, pull it into the phone and use the editing apps that I have on here, KineMaster and Photo Director for uh, photos and video uh, to edit and upload and do whatever I need to do on the fly and fix photos and whatnot. All that good stuff. But usually it's just a plug, drag, drop, done, let's get the party started. But the Google 6, the 6 Pro doesn't want to recognize the formats that all of my cameras uh, format um, SD cards into, which is like XFAT or something like that. So it, every time I stick it in, it wants to reformat that there's an issue with the external drive and it wants to format it to fix it. But if you do that, you're going to lose everything that's on the card and you're just sit there stuck in frustration. Well, the mission was to figure out why is it why is this happening and you know just kind of downloading these free apps a multitude of free apps risking some kind of virus i'm sure along the way to figure out what it would finally read and then boom there was the problem now we had found out the problem let's figure out the app that's going to be best suited for that problem because the rankety jankety apps that i was using off developer sites and stuff it was just like Ugh, we're going down this dark road and it was like programming type stuff it, just to figure out the problem but then we can now when we know the problem it's just not reading the drive it's just not reading the codec that the cameras that i have and all the cameras and yours too that wants to format the disc into and some of those can be resolved by i think some cameras now you can go in and go hey i want to format uh, these cards into this format and it'll do it and it'll probably read it here but if you've got a bunch of different cameras and audio equipment and things and you just don't even want to worry with it this app is probably going to help you it's usb media explorer it's three dollars and 99 cents but it's great all you do is i'll plug in this little extender and it's a uh, usb type c to type c extender to get past my case uh here is the micro sd card boom i'm gonna put that in there so this is what your left looking like going into the phone we're gonna plug this right into the phone and you're gonna see that it says it says hey there's an issue with this drive tap to fix if i tap to fix that it kind of asks how we use this drive because it wants to format it correctly but it will never read it ever so that's the way your phone normally acts let's plug this in now when i plug it in it's going to automatically pop up the USB Media Explorer app, thank you, XFAT, and then now it's going to break it up into types of files for you. And then uh, File Manager, DSIM, 100 Media, and then boom, we got a lot of DGI folders in there. So that's how you can access, move, and look at, and read everything that's on your SD card that will probably be from your camera is just by downloading the USB Media Explorer app. And then it's super snappy. It's the best thing that doesn't take any kind of extra goofy steps, uh, any kind of degree in anything to figure out. So uh, go download the USB Media Explorer app. This has been my PSA for the Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. If you're doing external stuff and wanting to bring it over to edit or showcase your work, that's how you're going to do it. And, you know, it really bothers me that a lot of these phone makers doesn't want to promote professionals it doesn't want to make you a professional it doesn't give you any kind of manual controls that you would want in the camera apps like if you use cameras and video and if you're a videographer or a photographer or anything or even want to aspire to be that um, these new flagship phones especially the google pixel I'm kind of disappointed like they don't cater to that it doesn't have a downloadable app within the camera app because you can go over to different modes and you should be able to have a place to go and download things to insert into your camera app, like a professional mode. That should be there. They should cater to professionals because they want to showcase this camera and what it can do. I shouldn't have to download Filmic Pro app. Uh, it should be in there. It should promote 
professionals. It should promote you to become a professional and to uh, increase your knowledge in photography instead of just them advertising, hey, look at our automatic features, and you, we just want you to grab it, point, and shoot, and that's it. We don't want you to have any manual controls. And that's what it seems like they're trying to go in that direction, to everything to be AI-oriented, instead of letting you experiment with pro settings. That's the way it should be, a progression. And it starts with this device that you have in your pocket all day long. I've talked way too long about something that should have been way shorter than this has been. So make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that down so you get notified of the next little PSA video that I make out of frustration. And, uh, and then that branches over into something else, complaining. See ya.